Hey guys, not going to talk too much, but I do have some good news for you. Hopefully, you'll stick around with me till the end and see what all that good news is. Well, without further ado, let's just get into it. Now, it is a new month, and in that new month, we're seeing a lot of changes in our subscription services. The primary one that I'll be talking about today is, of course, Vive for Infinity. In the month of February, we are going to be seeing eight more games added to the service. However, we will be seeing one very big game leave it. Those games that are being added to it include Star Shelter by Overflow Games, Abode and Abode 2 also by Overflow Games, Fail Space by Hipfire, uh, we have Ultimate Fishing Simulator, Carly and the Reaper Man, Gloomy Eyes Volume 3, Conductor by Overflow, and Deism by Myron Software. Now, the game that is going to be leaving the service in the month of February is Super Hot VR. Uh, this has been one of the biggest titles in Viveport since since the game itself launched in 2017. And hopefully, with this somewhat disheartening news, we can see something, uh, some other big title take its place in the near future. But hopefully, that positive 8 change in Viveport might make up a difference in super hot leaving, but just remember that uh, it's been some good times with super hot. Always gave us those high scores and those time missions. So speaking of subscription model changes, one very notable one that we can expect today, actually, is that this month in PlayStation Plus, we can expect three free games as opposed to the typical two. They include Bioshock the Collection, The Sims 4, and Firewall Zero Hour. You heard that right. A third free game that is VR exclusive. Now, this game has been somewhat popular ever since it launched back in 2018. And during that time, there has only been this will have only been the fourth VR game that PlayStation Plus has brought forward as part of their subscription model. They include Here They Lie in August of 2018, Until Dawn, Rush of Blood in December of 2017, and Riggs, Mechanized Combat League, back in December of 2017. And like I said, Firewall Zero Hour this month. Now, with any luck, they may add virtual reality games every month. Because one, one very big thing that we can see later on this year is not only the upcoming console generation, the PlayStation 5, but possibly an updated headset. The PlayStation VR headset, though, is easily the best-selling virtual reality headset on the market at the moment with about 5 million units sold. That being said though, as a company, Sony will always want to push sales. And if there's anything they can do to try to do that, I, I would suggest going for it. And one very easy way of doing just that is by bolstering the virtual reality libraries of its existing PlayStation Plus subscribers, of which there are 37 million of us. So changing, changing the 5 million, excuse me, changing the 5 million PlayStation 4 headset owners to something more akin to, I don't know, 7, 8, 9, and just shoot for the stars, go for 10. If, if maybe 30% of their existing PlayStation Plus subscriber base has a PlayStation VR headset, which has been seeing its price drop over the last few years, might I add, then that 
then they are going to be boosting their overall sales and proving just how successful the PlayStation VR headset really is. But the easiest, like I said, the easiest way they can do that is by adding VR games for free to the PlayStation Plus subscriber base. Subscriber game library. So hopefully this type of thing becomes more of a more of a tradition over the next few months. Now, something else I do need to talk about along that same vein is that it is currently rumored that pre-orders for the PlayStation 5 are going to launch in February. This rumor is brought to you by PlayStation Erebus. And while they haven't had the best tracker record when it comes to leaks and things of the like, one of the few things that does add a little bit of credence is that during the week of March 16th, it will be on display at the 2020 Game Developers Conference in San Francisco. And a few years back in 2016, they debuted their PlayStation VR headset at that very same Game Developers Conference. So with any luck, it's very possible that this leak slash rumor may turn out to be true. And all that being said, there is very little to go on as far as authority in this sort of uh, rumor, like I said. 